So hey, we've got little Pearly, um, and everybody's here except my dad. My dad's in the RV, and we're going on our first RV trip. Okay, guys. So it's me, Pearly, and Jack. He's right there. Hey, Jack. Say hi. So we're just taking Pearly out to our RV. I'm super excited to see how she reacts. Oh, my dad just opened the RV door for us. So let's go ahead and go in. Ah, I'm so excited. So we just put her down. Looking, I think she's gonna go. She wins the bed. <laughs> she's looking around. She's like, "What is this?" Hey, Dad. Say hi. We got our dog food. We need to organize it before we leave. But yeah, we we're gonna have to organize it then. Leave. Probably. So, is Mateo coming? All right, John, where are we going? We're going to Bowling Green, but we already ripped the door off the bathroom and the frame off of there, closing the slide, causing thousands of dollars of damage. We didn't even make it out of our driveway on our first trip, and we've already caused thousands of dollars of damage. Ooh. All right, you ready? All right, here we are. Everybody's, everybody's situated, except for except for we have no door. That's it now. At our first rest stop, John clearly didn't like the rubber gloves he bought for himself and decided to throw them in my face. We left St. Louis and Bethalto this morning on our way to Kentucky, and yeah. it's been pretty miserable so far. Well, we have, somebody has destroyed the RV already. The, they didn't close the bathroom door, so when we pulled the slide in, we ripped the door off of the inside, and we've ruined the, um, one of the, uh, canopy slides, um, on the, on that. So, we've got thousands of dollars worth of damage, and we didn't even leave our driveway so there you go okay but that how happened hours ago and john is still um going on and on and on about it but my version of the story is i had just stepped foot no, onto the rv no, and was standing door. in the doorway of the bathroom when he started to close the we made it to kentucky wow aren't they cute oh, look at that one. oh, oh. and fuzzy alpaca farm in Bowling Green, Kentucky, about 5 p.m. The owners, Elaine and Sam, were very welcoming and friendly. After escorting us to our parking spot for the night, they didn't waste any time showing us around, introducing us to their animals, and putting the kids to work collecting eggs for breakfast in the morning. Elaine and Sam were so full of knowledge and willing to share their love of farm life with the kids. Next, we were off to the barn to help feed the alpacas. Beep, beep. Feeding time for the alpacas. So how many alpacas do you have here? Did you go all the way down? Do you want to? So there's our 
home away from home over there. And we're getting ready to go bring the alpacas in. All right, everybody be still. Here they come. Teddy bear, doesn't he? Walnut's his name? Jack said he wants at least 10 of them. Yeah, let's not get too excited though, okay? Because we, we want to stay yeah. calm. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's Lester. Lester. <laughs> Kind of use those as catch yeah, yeah. <laughs> You want me to just kind of hang on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, who's getting these others? Okay. Our cowgirl's getting Mr. D. Mr. D. All right. All right. You stand right here. Right hand, right there. What's his name? Start as Leonard. Lester. Lester the Pester. Lester the Pester. And who's he? Okay. Who else we got? Well, I'll take either one. What was Walnut. his name? Walnut? I'll take Walnut. Hey, Ollie. He doesn't like 
You just walk in your alpaca? Yeah, I am! <laughs> I got my own alpaca. This is Walnut. We're getting acquainted. I hey, got Jack. Leonard! <laughs> See him? <laughs> Look at you. Blaster. Uh oh. Hey, Ollie, what do you think, bud? Ollie, you want to hold that one? No. <laughs> okay. Love you too, <laughs> no walking alpacas in Kentucky doesn't get any better than this. Awesome, awesome. Are you gonna get all of them? Yep. Alright. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, nice. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's got an expert there. Here we go! Yeah! Go, Jack! Nice! Yeah! Awesome! That was great! We're done with our walk.
don't have a relationship. You better love my alpaca. If you don't love my alpaca, you don't love me. I was smart. I thought, I love them. <laughs> Hey Oliver, what do you think of these alpacas? You want to go back home? This isn't fun? Yeah. And take any play video games back home. And go back and wake up at 10 30. And wake up at 10 30. You want to go home? Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Knowing that John and I own and operate Fru's Bridal, a bridal store in Alton, Illinois, Elaine was so excited to show us her very own bridal gown made out of wool from her very own alpacas. Okay, so it's bedtime. We've made it some material with my mom. We're laying down. Say hi. Hi. She's so tired. I think she's just going to go straight to bed. And Jack and Rue are hanging out over here. Hi. Why don't you show them your headquarters and what you got in here? Okay. So this is my area. I have all my stuffed animals and my pillows and stuff. Um, my light switch and my phone and chargers back there. And then over here is Rui and some other pillows and a stormtrooper and all my school supplies. Okay, so then Oliver's area, I'll show you. His pillows that he'll sleep with are here. He's got his decorative pillows with some teddies and his kiki. Then, wow! Then, there is my area, which right, kind, right now, pretty much my, I've got like a cave system, but it looks really cool over here. And then, uh, everything. So pretty much I've got my book uh, that I'm reading right now. Stolen Girl. Um, so, yeah, super good. I've got my sleep mask because most likely I go to bed way before my parents do. So, these lights will be on all on. And so, when I put my sleep mask on, it helps me sleep. So, having all the lights on. So, yeah. Then I've got my phone and some socks and stuff over here. Um, then I've got Buddy. He's my cuddle bug. He will cuddle me. And we got a new person to snuggle with tonight. His name is Mr. D. Mr. D. Mr. D. It's a little alpaca, so they'll be snuggling. The day was amazing. We got to go on a walk with the alpacas. Super fun. Super awesome. Hey. Hi, guys. Good morning. It's another beautiful day here at the Apaca Farm. And before we take off and go to our next destination, we wanted to get up and go see the Apacas Guys, one look, more time. So this hat is awesome, right? And this is all made of, out of Apaca fur. Hi! Hello. Hi, good morning! Hi! Hello! So what do you think, Jack? It's awesome. I just, I don't know. I don't know about our next trip. I don't know about our next destination. I'm not excited for it. We're going to spend another, I think, three hours. So I'm sorry. I just have to get three hours. After raising the levelers on the RV in preparation to leaving, we quickly realized we weren't going anywhere and we're stuck in the mud. Clearly, RVing isn't always smooth sailing, especially with the traveling frues on board. We had zero experience with RVs before purchasing our own and I knew we needed to be prepared to make some RV mistakes. Thankfully, Sam and Elaine were there and knew exactly what to do to get us back on the road. 
Sam with a shovel in hand and a lane behind the wheel of their front end loader were able to spread enough gravel under the tires and we were soon on our way. We don't always remember days, but we do remember moments. Our time at the Alive and Fuzzy Alpaca Farm with Elaine and Sam was a moment my family will cherish forever. Today's moments become tomorrow's memories. Memories become stories that we tell throughout our life. I'm sure my children will be telling the story to relive the delightful time we had in Kentucky at the alpaca farm. Yeah, where would you get an adventure like this? I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make it home now. <laughs>